Hello, all of you horror freaks out there. This is the Strange Monkey coming right back at ya <laughs> with another horror movie review. I'm sorry. Today we're going to be reviewing the fourth entry in the Halloween franchise, Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers, which was released in 1988 and directed by Dwight H. Little, and it stars Donald Pleasant, Daniel Harris, and Ellie Cornell. So, let's jump right into it, shall we? This takes place 10 years after the events of Halloween 1 and 2, or it's all of them. Just the whole night, basically. And, uh, yeah, Michael Myers apparently has been in a coma, and for some reason, someone mentions that he has a niece, and boom, he wakes, wait a he wakes up! Wait a minute! It's time to cause some oh, damage. Wait. He's been in a coma, and apparently he needs to be transported. I don't know why. Like, leave his ass there in that hospital where he's at. Why do you need to transport him? No. You not realize what you're dealing with here? It's evil, evil on two legs. Anyway, so, right away, you know, they set the tone for this film, and, uh, you pretty much realize that this is going to be a Halloween film and nothing else. You see the, uh, the barn house or whatever, you see the leaves, the Halloween decorations, you know, and get that vibe, I guess. This is a Halloween film. That's what we're getting. So, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool in the opening scene. You know, and for a couple of years, there wasn't, there weren't any, for a couple of years, you know, back then in the 80s, I guess nobody got any Halloween films after Halloween 3. And that's because it didn't really do too well. There was a lot of backlash and people were like, where the hell is Michael Myers? We don't like this. Now it's got a cult following. You know, and I, I think the movie is very underrated, but yeah, the producer of all of the Halloween films, uh, Mustafa Akkad, said, fuck this, we're going back to basics. He bought back all the rights to the films, and they decided to go back to basics and give you guys a Halloween film with Michael Myers once again. So then you got little Jimmy Lloyd. She lives with her foster sister Rachel and their parents, and because uh, Jamie's mom, Laurie Strode, was killed in a car accident. That's the first time he killed off Laurie Strode, Hollywood. I better not see that shit happen again in the new Halloween film. You understand me? Do I make myself clear? So yeah, she deals with all this bullying in school, and then they decide that hey, we're gonna go trick-or-treating tonight. You know? Why not? It's Halloween. And then all of a sudden, Michael hiding out in a fucking gas station. Dr. Loomis just happens to be strolling in, you know. And then there's chaos, and, you know, that son of a bitch took Loomis's car again. Wrong, and heads sir. And heads to head. Wrong. My, Dr. Loomis is on a mission to stop Michael Myers. This guy is trying to get a ride, and he eventually gets it. He will get to Haddonfield at all costs. Doesn't matter. So, yeah, he gets there, talks to the sheriff, says, listen, we got trouble. He's back tries to convince him. He gets a bunch of people from the town to uh, help him, and then, you know, they look for Michael, and then that's where shit gets crazy. Michael starts a uh, rampage of destruction, killing off people left and right, and they have to survive by any means necessary. They gotta do what they gotta do to survive. Um, I don't think this was the best entry in the franchise, but this is definitely one of the better sequels. Um, a lot better than the fifth one, because five was just, that's where all the pop, that's where all of the problems started, in my opinion. I did not like the mask in this one, I mean, I thought it was okay, I wish they would have went with the Shatner mask, but I, I guess they couldn't get it, but, uh, yeah. But overall, I mean, I thought the story was, was interesting, you know, they went back to the roots and all that stuff. The kills were very... I would say, you know, this is the first time we see Michael stick his thumb in a doctor's head to kill him. He uses a shotgun to kill one of the girls in this movie. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, that's insane. But, uh, yeah. And, and there's this one scene that just bothers me. Uh, Dr. Loomis backs up into Michael, throws him through one of the doors or whatever. And I guess, apparently, the story is that one of these people from the uh, crew forgot to uh, get the mask and they ran out there at 2 o'clock in the morning and they 
grabbed the wrong mask, which is not even finished, and we got what we got. This blonde hair, pink face looking Michael. How did nobody notice this during production? And then reshoot it. Why? Who fucking knows? But apparently there was a writer's strike going on. They had to get this thing going, and they finished it, and we got what we got. And the ending I thought was pretty interesting too, kind of shocking and whatnot. But I thought it was cool to see, you know, new faces in this franchise, and uh, yeah, I, th I thought it was a very entertaining film. So I'm going to give Halloween 4 a 7 out of 10. So yeah, I'm going to be reviewing more entries in this franchise, and yeah, I thought Halloween 4 was pretty damn good. So I've been Strange Monkey, subscribe, like me on Facebook, uh, Instagram, follow me on Twitter, and all that good stuff, and yeah, have yourselves a good fright. He's coming back to Haddonfield. <laughs>